Welcome back to Ophthalmology for undergraduates and postgraduate beginners. Today, I am going to tell about the intraocular pressure and how to measure it. First, what is the intraocular pressure? Intraocular pressure is nothing but the pressure exerted by the intraocular contents on the coats of the eyeball or it is the fluid pressure of the aqueous humor inside the eye. This is the definition for intraocular pressure. What is the normal intraocular pressure? It is 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury. What decides the intraocular pressure? It is the aqueous humor formation minus a sum of aqueous humor outflow plus episcleral venous pressure. That is what is going to decide the pressure inside the eye. That is called as intraocular pressure. Let us see what are the methods are there to measure the intraocular pressure. One is the digital tonometry. Commonly allowed for undergraduate students to do in an examination of a patient or in the university examination. The second one is indentation tonometry. It is very commonly carried out in OPD conditions where large patients are there. You can do it faster but the values are not very accurate. It is just used for screening the intraocular pressure. It is not a definitive reading that it is going to give. It is based on the principle that a softer eye or an eye with low intraocular pressure indents more than a harder eye or an eye with a high intraocular pressure. That is what is indentation tonometry. Common equipment used for doing an indentation tonometry is Schwartz tonometer. Coming to the applanation tonometry, Applanation tonometry is very accurate. It gives a very accurate reading of the intraocular pressure. This is based on the principle of invert fix. What do you mean by invert fix principle? It is P is equal to W divided by A. What is this P? P is the pressure inside the eyeball or the sphere. W is the force required to flatten the area of sphere. A is area of flattening. This gives the accurate intraocular pressure. Now let us learn how to do a digital tonometry. The person for whom you are going to test the digital tonometry intraocular pressure measurement has to close his eyes and look downwards. Like this he has to close it and look downwards. You have to keep both your index fingers on the upper eyelid of the eye to be measured for intraocular pressure. One finger has to be kept stationary, the other finger has to exert a small pressure. When you give pressure with one index finger, uh, there will be a small displacement in the other finger. This is said to be normal because the globe is firm in consistency. The globe is firm in consistency and there is a small fluctuation, then the intraocular pressure is normal. If the globe is hard, you are not able to give any pressure and there is no displacement of other index finger, then the globe is said to be hard, the intraocular pressure is considered to be high. If one index finger freely indents, it goes deep into the eyeball, the eyeball is said to be very soft, the intraocular pressure is said to be very very low. Everyone thinks that intraocular pressure is other name for glaucoma. It is not like that. Glaucoma is not high intraocular pressure. 
it is having a definition chronic progressive optic neuropathy caused by many factors out of which the intraocular pressure is the only modifiable factor so that is glaucoma glaucoma is the disease of the optic nerve caused by many factors the only factor which can be reduced or corrected is the intraocular pressure how to make a diagnosis of a glaucoma there are three criteria to make a diagnosis of glaucoma one is the raised intraocular pressure second is the optic disc changes third one is the field changes if out of these three criteria only one criteria is positive then the patient is said to be glaucoma suspect we cannot confirm it as glaucoma it is a glaucoma suspect we are suspicious of glaucoma in that person if out of these three criteria two criteria are positive then you can tell the patient is having a glaucoma so two criteria are very very essential to diagnose a glaucoma you should know certain interesting things about glaucoma if out of the three criteria we told only the intraocular pressure is raised there is no field changes or optic disc changes then that is called as ocular hypertension if there is optic disc changes field changes suggestive of glaucoma but the intraocular pressure is normal or low then the patient can be branded as glaucoma patient but the diagnosis will be normal tension glaucoma or low tension glaucoma this is all what i want to tell for undergraduates and postgraduate beginners there are so many things to learn about intraocular pressure and glaucoma and those things can be very well read from the literature and also we can learn it practically with this we'll stop here we will discuss about the lacrimal drainage system and lacrimal apparatus in the next video